Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of October 2020 and welcome back. I'm using a new deck and that deck is called the Star Tarot by Kathy Mack Clayland. Sorry, I can't pronounce it properly. Um, but you can see the review um, in the playlist and you can see the vibrant colours. This is the uh, second edition and I think it's much prettier, much, much prettier than the first edition. I'm also using the TLC for the soul and the little messages from the angel cards. The mini messages by Anne Ellis. Your first, um, and if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and your mobile device. If you don't know how to do that, then please have a look under news and updates. There you will find a video t showing you how to do it. Your first card is the Eight of Pentacles. You have recognition for your endurance and your hard work. You might even be starting a new study. That could, with this recognition, that could mean that you might get a promotion or you finally have recognition and you are getting the job that you have been wishing for. It ha might have given you sleepless nights. Perhaps you have been uh, scared or worried that you wouldn't get the job. Well, don't worry. Look at this. You've got the cobweb in the back. You have been networking. You've been putting things out there and you're catching the positive um, information and acknowledgement um, in your web and you've just caught a little butterfly. You can see it. So that means transformation. Don't worry. Give your problems um, over to the divine and the angels um, when you get undressed at night. And the divine will work in their time. Remember, time is man-made. You don't have to worry. If you give it over to the divine and the angels, then you can make sure that you can have a restful and peaceful night. You can always pick up your worries and your stress the next day when you put on your clothes. It's better not to though. It's always, if you want to get rid of stress, go and take a shower and just let the stress go right into the little hole where the water disappears, the drain, and let it go. Make room for new things to come in. Let go of the old and of stress. Okay. On Wednesday, you have the Wheel of Fortune. What goes up must go down. What comes up? What comes up must go down. What goes round comes round. And this is my Karma card. When you've done good or bad, it will come back threefold. If somebody else has done you wrong, they will get their karma threefold as well. There's an end to a period. And there's a new beginning to a new face. You might be moving up in your friendship. That might become a relationship. Or you might be, be getting engaged or getting married. You could also be going up the ladder in your career as the wheel has spokes. You've got Archangel um, Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel and Michael um, having have your back, okay? And that's the fire sign. Uh, Leo, um, Taurus, Aquarius and Scorpio. So anybody of those elements um, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Taurus or Scorpio, uh, Leo might have your back. You could also be meeting one of them. Okay. You could also be moving in or moving home or going on holiday as this card also represents uh, movement, the wheel. If you also have had your eye on a car, 
now is the time to get it but wait until the end of Mercury retrograde my darlings and that is on the 4th of November after that get your car because everything that um, is di electrical or digital um, is quite quirky during the retrogrades the, the, the clarification card that you have on the Wheel of Fortune is the King of uh, cups and the king of cups for me is cancer but don't exclude Pisces and Scorpio well you've got Scorpio in this card the wheel so you could be meeting a Scorpio but like I said the king is cancer this is a man that is loving passionate caring and nurturing we all have that feminine side to us and that's the nurturing side the caring side like the mother within us okay he's a lovely father you if you ca might be hooked up with them but or you might be going out with them and you your relationship might go up a notch with this man okay then on Friday we have the Four of Pentacles. Whoa, that means that you might be isolating yourself mentally, spiritually and physically. You've closed off your heart or you've closed off your, your mind or your solar plex. Open up. Get out of your comfort zone. That is what I'm hearing. And the Four of Pentacles basic meaning is holding on to money the miser card but it is also I think um, spiritual because in the traditional tarot he's got a coin on his head in front of his heart and solar plex so that is why I say open yourself up now if you've been spending too much money then it is the, uh, an advice a warning to tighten up the purse strings right now if you uh, haven't been spending money then spend some money on yourself to make yourself feel better but keep some for a rainy day after all there will be more money coming in why I hear you for asking because you've got the king of pentacles everything you touch or you do will turn out positive as the king of pentacles is known to have the meters touch and look at that tree the tree of life and he always researches before he invests so that he knows that he will get rediment he will get it back again he will get the uh, money back on his investment time and time again okay you could be meeting a Taurus as the king of Pentacles is Taurus don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn you've got two kings here whoa nice one now you've got Taurus here in the wheel so those are the two prominent ones okay at the weekend you have judgment and judgment means a new beginning or a second chance if you um, if you have been separated from somebody and you have been anxious about that and had sleepless nights um, about it then this could mean that there could be a reconciliation okay if you've been good you've been patient you've um, been nurturing and caring and you've strategically done your research and you've invested your time um, then um, it, the payoff will be now so they will be back that is a second chance a second beginning but remember this could also be a normal friendship okay this could be uh, a second chance at an investment 
this could be a second chance in love or in passion now if you want that passion to last then know your boundaries and know their boundaries and don't cross the boundaries and they must not cross their boundaries and then it will work then there will be balance as you've got 20 in that becomes two okay don't hold too tight on to people because they will feel trapped or they might feel that they're stifling that they're choking in the relationship keep the balance don't cross the boundaries then you have the eight of swords the eight of swords means you might feel trapped or they might feel trapped if you are holding on to them because of the four of swords holding on to something desperately let go you might feel trapped but you're not trapped this is usually depicted with a lady that's tied up but the, t the, the ropes aren't knotted up and with a blindfold so shrug off these ropes or bandages and take off the blindfold and don't look what is just in front of you look what is happening around you and get out of your mind stop worrying okay and just take your next step forward okay and don't get into hefty discussions first of all by the first glance I thought it was the five of swords but no we all have our ups and downs every relationship friendship or life in general have ups and downs so get out of your head stop worrying to me you are looking as if you are a warrior uh, Libra stop worrying go with the flow that is what I'm hearing like the king of cups he's got his emotions under control but he goes with the flow so just to recap the uh, reading this I if it is relation bound the second the uh, second chance you are getting recognition that you are doing something about yourself perhaps nurturing yourself getting your emotions under control getting thing doing things and that turn out positively you are maturing perhaps or evolving into a fantastic mature I uh, independent person and perhaps that is what was uh, making you stuck in this relationship or feeling trapped these two cards are, are trapped cards or you were holding on to um, your partner or somebody in uh, as a friend holding on too tight you want to control you are letting go of control issues this is your second chance definitely uh, new beginnings you've got curious rest yes you or your partner might have had a curious rest I think it is you gathering yourself together deciding what you want to do and you've taken off the blindfold and the bandages you stepped forward and looked around and you have changed whether it is the windiest of days or the quietest of days a little dose of curiosity will go a long way to brighten it up lean inward and inquire within your heart if some insights you seem to have suppressed cannot be rekindled the second chance it only been safely stored away so that now that you are receptive it can be revealed in light of today's awareness there will be a subtle recognition an inkling an in uh, an, an intuitive understanding of having been heard even if your mind is still in doubt say a quick hello to your wise self then and have a conversation about life's more recent happenings do also relinquish that arduous and useless undertaking of trying to fix it 
or figuring it out. Just be there in delight. And seeing this picture is you um, don't swing from one side to the next side. Don't sit on the fence. Be clear. Be transparent. That is what this swing is. Um, I'm seeing the swing going in the wind, whether it's still or in the wind. Don't change from one to another. Set your boundaries. Know their boundaries. Let them know your boundaries. And you can every day you can change your boundaries, but let them know. Okay? And don't stay sitting on the fence. This is what I'm hearing. The card of the angel is inspiration. Synchronicity, coincidences are guiding you along the right path. Look out for them. Look for signs in other words. You are on the right path and you will get what you want. So long you stop worrying and trying to maintain control. Let go. Go with the flow. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Libra. Take care and have a wonderful week. Stay safe and be blessed.